all came with the director of uh, milk control, and they all came and pretended they were just going to do an inspection, and then they did a seizure. It was a SWAT-type team raid, which included the FBI, the FDA, the CDFA, along with uh, half a dozen sheriffs. We were just recently raided again for the third time. Knock on the door, and my kids again ousted from their beds. Terrorized the children, took the farm away in handcuffs. They even took the sheep that I had brought over from New Zealand, and they took them out to Iowa and they killed them for a disease that doesn't exist to this day. Rob Mill from South Carolina, USDA, great uh, licensed dairy, the uh, imminent health hazard according to the state of Georgia. America, wake up! I mean, this, uh, these things are starting to happen. Came with the director of uh, milk control, and they all came and pretended they were just going to do an inspection, and then they did a seizure. It was a SWAT-type team raid, which included the FBI, the FDA, the CDFA, along with uh, half a dozen sheriffs. We were just recently raided again for the third time. Knock on the door, and my kids again ousted from their beds. Terrorized the children, took the farm away in handcuffs. They even took the sheep that I had brought over from New Zealand, and they took them out to Iowa and they killed them for a disease that doesn't exist to this day. Rob Milk from South Carolina, USDA, great uh, licensed dairy, a uh, imminent health hazard according to the state of Georgia. America, wake up! I mean, this, uh, these things are starting to happen. Brakat the Yahawa, Brakat the Yahawa Shai, Brakat the Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, the bonus of the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutation of the Akiyam, pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole foot like around the globe. All right. So, as we've covered this before, these devils got plans, these devils got an agenda, and it's all leading to the NWO, that they want to have full control and dominion. Of all people, places, and things, okay, which they're ultimately going to do that with the CHIP. So, as we've touched on before, the government orchestrated famines, and this is footage from the last couple years. All right, some of the home footage showed even the date of 08. Okay, so for over a decade, they've been trying to control the food supply, and even much more so now when you could look up characters like bill gates and all the farmland he's buying out okay and this is all scriptural micah 2 and 1 reads woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand all right it is fully in the power of their hand job 9 24 says the hand, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked all right micah 2 and 2 and they covet fields and take them by violence, all right? This devil, the same way that he came to the shores of the Western Hemisphere, all right? You know, with, with false treaties and looking like he was a good guy and trying to help the, the native and the indigenous, but really slaughtered them and moved them out of their lands and starved them out. Same way that they plan to control the food supply and starve the people out for their ways okay for the agendas and if you don't get down you're gonna lay down okay and they covet fields all right meaning that they take shit that is not theirs and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage so you know the alphabet people come in be it dea fbi cia feds all right the cops and they they will raid you like the way that they're raiding these people's farmlands all right which ultimately we know goes back to the fact that it's not even theirs a lot of these edomites and these heathens that stole the lands now they're just reaping what they sow but ultimately for the overall agenda is to control the food supply because when you control the food you control the people all right and when we have organizations like the fda food and drug administration food is drugs and drugs is food so with the gmos the genetic genetically modified organisms and the monsantos and the 
biochemical warfare that these people are engaging on the populace, on the mass populace, they're going to be able to destroy the hearts and minds of the people, all right? Bring in pestilences, all right? Because th these devils are witches, warlocks, all right? They know how to or conjure potions and and or put stuff into the this the in, into what we consume into the water into the air all right to have our our dumbed down masses which clearly is working you see the people look like they're completely out of their mind you got movies like the crazies showing you how through stuff being released in the water and all that people start acting insane all right they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away, all right? And none of these properties are yours. You usually have a mortgage, all right, which is synonymous with the word morgue, uh, a loan to the morgue, a loan all the way to you're dead, okay, that you never fully own your property anyways, okay? The, and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, all right, you trying to pass down to your children even wholesome things, all right, and train up a child the way he should go and, and by the word, you know, a boy to be a boy, a, a, a little girl to be a, a woman, okay, they, were, they want to distort that now, all right, not only do they want to pollute the hearts and minds of the people, they, they want to fully indoctrinate your child even from the moment you put them in their so-called public fool system. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family, all right, these Edomites, do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil, all right? So the wrath and indignation coming upon the earth is for these wicked people, and then our people that want to follow along with the wicked, they're going to get their portion too. So this is why... We advocate for you to come back to the Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments, who the real Heavenly Father is, Almighty Yahweh, His Son Yahweh Shai, who you are, what is our place in the book, to know that we are not to go the ways of the heathen, the way of these infidels, okay? And Isaiah 10 and 1 reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, that right grievousness which they have prescribed. All right? So if they say that they could raid the lands or they could raid the foods and that this, uh, and, and you can't um, produce your own seed and grow your own food and, and have livestock and you can't have sheep and cattle and they have full control over you and dominion over what you consume. All right? That's grievousness, that's unrighteous decrees, which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment. And our people are in want and need of all things. So we have to go to them for the want and need of all things, all right? But it, obviously, if what they're doing is tainting our food, all right, and we're eating this defiled bread, okay, which is also prophetic, okay, they, they have it fully within their power to destroy us. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, all right? Or don't we have even in their bullshit constitution the liberty, you know, to pursue happiness and all this and that? But it's all bullshit. We, we don't have liberty, okay? We don't have rights. Or it's, a, my, it's a fundamental right to just be able to live, to, to have water, to have food, raiment, all right? But what do they do? They, they tax it. They, they hyperinflate it. They have a slaved enslaved to the dollar all right and and now they want to take it a step further and fully control us our temple our bodies and, and what we consume and what goes in it all right to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless all right and this is or what, what better way to rob you than of your your actual nourishment okay and we will be defiled eating our bread amongst the gentiles let's get that real quick and we'll close out we don't want to make this too long all right ezekiel 4 and 13 says and the lord said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whither i will drive them okay so wherever we've been driven to, to the four corners of the earth, we've been 
we've been eating this defiled bread among the Gentiles, amongst the other nations, right? And this devil, the heathen, the, the, the epitome of the heathen, the spearhead of the heathen, Esau, Edom, all right? They are fully within their power and control to now control what you consume, all right? The food supply, your bread becoming defiled, all right? That's why you see a lot of these whistleblowers and, and, and documentaries coming out like Food Inc., you know, with, with this guy that made Fahrenheit 9 11, all right? Which is, they're, they're all insiders and they get a little pass to put stuff out, all right? But this is why it is high time to wake out of sleep and know what time we're living in, what the agenda of these devils are, who our enemy is, and who is the only power that can protect us, all right? Because we're eating defiled bread. We have been, and it's getting that much more worse. And especially if they get full control, and especially if there's these supply shortages and and there we're short on rations, and these devils um, implement their NWO, that they get to monitor what food, how many cans, how, uh, how much uh, chicken, turkey, milk, water, a household is designated, all right? And the, ultimately, through that CHIP, is that they're going to be able to better monitor all this, you know, hook you up to the internet of all things, have a smart fridge at home that they know whether you have a gallon or a half a gallon of milk, all right? And if you're due to be awarded another, all right? So stay wise, stay vigilant, because our adversary, the devil, is looking to see whom he may destroy. Come back to the Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, and walk the walk, talk the talk. Walk in holy conversation and conduct because that's the only chance we got. All right, so with that, I pray, brothers and sisters, was edified. Till next time, Shalom, all honor, love, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Shalom.